welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a Python project which is entitled as detection of phishing websites using machine learning which is an IEEE 2022 conference paper so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project generally phishing means uh, like a replica of the original for example you may be using banking websites you may be using SBI, HDFC, ICICI or any kind of bank but there will be a duplicate or a replica website so these hackers or criminals will be hosting that website so accidentally if you go to that website and if you enter the username or password or any kind of sensitive information they collect that and they will be misusing it so this kinds of things is called as phishing website so phishing is a very dangerous kind of because you even don't know that is an original one or duplicate one it looks same as the original one now the problem of identifying this phishing website is we cannot train up the system with all the website names and we can label as it is uh, uh, it is an safe one or if it is an unsafe one because there are millions of websites so we cannot train up all the websites name if you are training few and if you are leaving some there may be problem so now the problem is identify this phishing website based on the features so in the paper the authors have mentioned that the existing system used random forest and recent tree algorithms and their accuracy is low and the existing model has the low latency also and the existing system does not have any specific user interface so for this the authors have proposed the current system using some different algorithms like logistic regression multi nominal navy base and xg boost and these methods have been implemented and they have compared that and as our proposed model we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper now we are going to propose our model as gradient boosting classifier so this is our model that we have implemented in this detection of phishing website using machine learning project and the training accuracy that we have achieved is 98.9 percentage and the test accuracy that we have achieved is 97.4 percentage now first let me show you the data set part as I showed as I intimated earlier we are not going to train the URLs in this in this project so we are going to train the features only so data set part here in the data set you can see the features of ID having IP address URL length shortening service having a symbol double slash redirecting prefix suffix having subdomain as sorry SSL final state domain registration length favicon port HTTPS token request URL URL anchor links in tags SFH submitting to email abnormal URL redirect on mouse over right click pop up window iframe age of domain DNS record web traffic page rank Google index links pointing to page statical report result so these are the features that we are going to train up the system to identify whether the website is a phishing or not so you can see this complete data set record about 11,055 data set record we are going to train up the system and before execution make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements file with the exact version of the python and the libraries installed in it so now first copy the source code location go to your command prompt now go to the source code location and type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for few minutes and now you can see this url just copy this url and go to any of your browser i'm going to firefox and just paste the URL and now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title detection of phishing website using machine learning and now you can see this login menu just click this login menu it will be navigated to the login page 
where you can see the username and password and kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click the login button and now you can see the login success message and click ok now it will be navigated to the upload part so upload part we need to upload the data set so i'll selecting this upload.csv which is inside the project folder and then click this upload button and kindly wait for a few seconds Now once after the data set is uploaded it will be navigated to the preview part where you can preview the data set that we have uploaded as I have intimated the features of ID ha having IP address all kinds of things has been loaded into the preview part of it and you can just scroll down the preview page till the end of the page and you can see the complete data set has been loaded into the preview part of it and which is around 11,055 data set records and you can see this click to try not test button and click this click to try not test button and kindly wait for a few seconds and now you can see the training finish message and click ok now it will be navigated to the important part that is the prediction of the phishing website so you can just see the some few website that we have given in the test folder you can check with it or you can check in a real time manner also so first let me show you few cases so let me give this our website jpinfotech.org and then click this check here and now you can see the result the website is safe to use I am just copying this facebook.com now let me go to the prediction menu again and entering this click here and now you can see this website is safe to use so now let me go to online SBI so now let me show you two websites that is one is online SBI so let me copy this online SBI this one and just go to the prediction menu again and let me enter this and then click here and now you can see the prediction result is the website is safe to use now let me go to the Google and type uh, fake website of SBI so here in the link you can see a tweet made by SBI where it says a website name online SBA dot digital is a fake so this is given that it given by SBI so just let me copy this URL you can see the tweet that is given by the SBI and now let me go to this our prediction menu and let me paste this and then click this click here and here you can see this website may be unsafe to use so we have I have shown you with the original website and also phishing website in a real-time manner so we have not tried any data set in this for the URL in it only with the features it is predicting that it is a phishing or not so let me check show you with some other example so now let me close this and let me go to now let me go to Amazon website this is the Amazon website so this is the Amazon website Amazon.in let me copy this and go to the prediction part and let me give this and check here and you can see this website is safe to use now now let me give fake website of Amazon 
so now let us see some URL in it so here you can see they have mentioned that such as HTTP 123.com so this kinds of if the link takes to site that is not legitimate it is a phishing one so let me copy this URL now and now let me go to the prediction menu and just type this and then click here and now you can see this website is maybe unsafe to you so I have shown you a real-time example of SBI and the Amazon and other text cases also I have given you in the test data folder where you can see the examples of the phishing websites and the normal one so here you can see the URL which is phishing expandable search.com this is the phishing light force finder which is phishing and outlook.office it is a legitimate pixels.com is legitimate so I have listed so you can check with all these websites also so for a sample let me copy this and just me show you and click here and now you can see this website is unsafe to use so in this way you can check out with the website that is given in the test data also let me copy this URL and just enter it and then click here now you can see this website is safe to use so let me move to the next part that is the performance analysis part so in the performance analysis we will be seeing the performance analysis parameters of recall f1 and precision value so the recall and f1 precision value of both safe and uh, unsafe values has been predicted and also the confusion matrix with the true and the predicted level of it and final comes the chart part and kindly note that this is a static chart because we have not used any database in the project so there is no dynamic chart in this so this chart is being manually predicted from the data set that we have uploaded in the data set we have the classified as uh, that safe and unsafe that is legitimate in the phishing so accordingly only it has been classified and it is shown so this remains the same uh, even you are changing the websites also so this is consists of 60 percentage of legitimate and 40 percentage of phishing URL features and let me log out and this is all about the project detection of phishing websites using machine learning and thank you for watching